Beautiful Saturday afternoon at Love's Field in Norman, the beautiful new home of the Oklahoma Sooners. It's the Big 12 Conference opener and Sooner softball presented by OU Health on Sooner Vision from ESPN+. Plus. Reprograms to the NCAA tournament, and it's a leadoff walk issued to Ochoa. All right, can start. Another two-strike pitch headed to Allen. Lifts this one towards shallow left center field. That's kind of in the Bermuda Triangle. I think the wind blew that just a little more toward Cassidy Pickering for the first out in their brand new home. But they still practice at Marita Hines. They hit over at Marita Hines and then take a shuttle bus over here to Love's Field for the game. And there's strike three called. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to... Bouncing ball to short. Ranches cleanly over to Spellhog for the first out. Right. Smashed into left center field. Ochoa. And it drops in front of Allen. And it's a standing double for Jada Coleman with one away in the first as the Sooners start the offense on... Rito digging in. What a start she's off to. And it may continue here. This one is back to the wall and caught at the warning track by Allen. Now Coleman's going to tag. And the relay is perfect on time. Miner applies the tag. It's a double play. And the inning is over. So the Cyclones up to the task. Heck of a hose. Gunning out Jay Coleman. This is lined right into the glove of Tiara Jennings for the first out. Tiana Poole is retired to start the second. Rarely, if ever, makes those mistakes to cost themselves. That's a fair ball, and it bangs off that spot where the wall juts out. Nicely played there by Pickering, and able to hold Carly Spellhawk to a lead. She is two runs shy of second place. Fifth-year player. And after that one down in the dirt, Hansen will pick it up and throw her out. That's three strikeouts now in five outs recorded by Maxwell. So... Swing and a miss. Two strikeouts in the inning and four in the game now. In the air. This will tail back toward the right fielder, Poole. Again, these teams still adjusting to the nuances of... Two balls and two strikes. Off the heel of the glove of Ranches. And Hanson will be safe at first base. Yes. Tapped off the end of the bat. Skirman will throw Pickering out. And down to second base goes Kenzie Hanson. Two down. There's ball four. And a patient at bat there for Ella Parker. She's trying to keep that ball down because you cannot miss on a pitch up as I say that. <laughs> Poole backs up near the warning track with plenty of room to pull it in. Sooners leave two out there and we are scoreless. Headed to the third. Not by them in that situation that she's, that Coach Pinkering is wanting. Foul tip hung on to there by Hanson. And that is five strikeouts now. Experience as a head coach. Swing and a miss. And Maxwell is really in a groove. That is four consecutive strikeouts. Variable. She said, I was even overwhelmed. There was a lot going on. This one pulled to Sanders. She'll step on the bag. And Maxwell works another one, two, three inning. Scoreless headed to the last of the third. Soon things off for the Sooners against Lauren Skirman. Lined off the glove of Spellhog, and Torres will easily beat it at first base. Mistakes don't compound themselves. Boom, right back to Skirman, the backhand. Sooners do move the runner along, but one away. And Jada Coleman will bat, break the glove with the ball. Ball four is outside. So Skirman trying to live on that outside edge. Less than two out opportunity. One of the most dangerous hitters in this lineup. And there's a base hit to right field. We shall see Torres 
or I should say Hodge is waved around third. She's safe. The throw to third. Jada Coleman slid and popped back up to get engaged in the rundown. She still hasn't been. She went out of the baseline. We see the umpire out there. Brad Newton come over and say out of the baseline. Fly to right field her first time. For, that was in the dirt, and Brito's going to take off. I was going to say, for a one nothing game, we have had a lot, as you say, to unpack. <laughs> players, specifically a player like Jada Coleman, to really toe that line between aggressiveness and not aggressive. Circling this ball to bit in right is pool, but she's able to hang with it and put it away to retire. Definitely figured it out. I think at this moment, she's the one that you want in the box. She pulls this one to Avery Hodge, who came on to run for Torres and now stays in the game to play second base for the Sooners. And she retires Allen cleanly. So, Allen, I'm with you. <laughs> that one looked like it might have hit her bat after it hit the dirt, but they say. Fair ball. And In the air to right. Riley Boone ranges back. It hits the base of the wall and just kind of flattens out there. It'll be a two out double for Alicia Ranches. And the Cyclones put the tying run in scoring position here. It'll be completely different come May. Right back to Maxwell, turned her head and got enough of a piece of it to knock it down and get Poole. Inning over. Oklahoma leads it, one nothing. Headed, bust one back up inside that time to Skirman. Hit hard, oh. speared by Ranches, who wow. pivots, fires. What a play. <laughs> wow. In the corners really well. She's making it pretty challenging for this OU offense. That one will get through as Pickering scalds this one into left center field. And that hitter just grazed Ella Parker. And now the Sooners have runners at first and second. And Parker lifted into right center field. Wind has got a hold of it a little bit. Back to the wall and a collision. The ball pops free. It's in play right now. Or is it gone? They call it a home run. It is gone. We got to get a look at the replay. It's a three run home run for Sydney Sanders and a four nothing sooner lead. Who will been able to keep this in the glove? This would have been a robbed home run. Well struck. This is low. She's able to throw the barrel in the outside part of the zone, hits the ball where it's pitched. Look at this attempt. If she is able to keep that in the glove, that's an out. And I gotta tell you, I don't even know. It hits a fan. I don't right even there. know if that's actually a home run. <laughs> and I think that right now is what. R.A. Carly Charles really coming in behind her. We already saw Skirman in the circle. Pretty hard hit. Ranches up with it and throws out Hodge for out number two. Don't know about her availability for this. Big swing there by Riley Boone, popped up into shallow center. Who's got it? There was a collision between Andrews and Ranches, but the out is recorded, hung on to by Andrews. Inning. Hard hit ball off the glove of Brito, but she's got that gun for a right arm and throws out Spellhawk. Lifted in the air toward right center. Boone back and can't get it. She'll pick it up at the base of the wall and get it back in. And Marin will stop at first base with a one-out single. Little 
Flair out toward right. Boone nearly got a double play over there as Buss was a little lackadaisical. Snap throw, and they've got her as Buss gets hung out to dry. Inning over on a caught stealing. Accurate throw by Kinsey Hansen. Swings through that one. Little up and away from Ralston. And she's able to strike out Coleman to start the fifth. And there's ball four. And there's Brito, as you said. That will get under your skin. <laughs> It's almost like she makes eye contact. With You're going to play. You will get a chance. And we see three freshmen in there today. Bland dives in safely with a stolen base. In the air to left center. And Ochoa over to put that one away for the second out. So Bland will stay put at second base. That one squirts away from Marin, and Bland will easily make third base. Wild pitch charged to Ralston, and another Sooner run now at third. Swing and a miss, though. Ralston able to fan the Sooner senior, Kinsey Hansen, inning over. A flare under the glove of the diving Pickering. Coleman backs up the play, but it'll be a leadoff double for Woodlaw. There is ball four. You know she's feeling that pitch. She's wanting that call so badly. Hard hit. Hodge goes to second base for one, and that will be the only out the Sooners get as Jennings hangs tight to the bag. It is an out. Confirm. Fly ball toward center field. Jada Coleman will make the catch. Wardlaw tags and cannot come home. A one hop strike fired by the. Swing and a miss, and Maxwell's seventh strikeout is her biggest of the day. On deck. And it was the three run bomb. And now the leadoff walk to Pickering, who's been on base twice today. Three pitches in and out. What a bounce back for Ralston. On the move is Core. The throw is a little bit to the shortstop side of second base. And Core has the second sooner stolen base of the day. That is ball four. What an at-bat there for Sidney Sanders. Two walks in the inning. Sooners have a little threat. One hopper. Ranch is up with it. They'll get the force play and cut down Lilio for out number two. Torres will occupy first. And Boone takes a strike. Sooner's going to try to get Torres hung up in a rundown and maybe sneak Core home. Chance to score. And Boone lifts one out into shallow center field. Ochoa is there, and the inning is over. Sooners leave two stranded. Oklahoma will try to close out the opening game of. left field after she came on to pinch run. It's a snap throw to first by Hanson. Hanson has to block that one, but Poole 
Had a good lead and is able to advance to second base. Popped up. This is going to stay in the field of play and in foul ground, Sanders puts away out number one. The play ball. Strike three called. Maxwell has her eighth strikeout of the day. And two down. So moving on to the semis. Base hit into left field. Poole will stop at third as Hannah Cork comes up with it. But the Cyclones stay alive. And now the potential tying run is in the on-deck circle. Pop-up, shallow left center, and caught by the racing Hannah Core. Oklahoma wins it 4-0 in the Big 12 Conference opener. So the Sooners get a big three-run home run from Sidney Sanders, the second complete game of the year, and the sixth win for the left-hander.